Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're taking a look at a pair of Adeptus Custodes tanks. These are Land Raiders, obviously. And this was an artistic license project, and that means at Blue Table Painting you get a discount on your painting cost. But the artist, in this case me, gets to uh, do something within the genre, but pick the color scheme uh, that they want. So it's not for everybody. But we don't just paint tanks purple or pink or whatever. We actually go in and look at what's been done and might do a standard job or might do something uh, within reason but slightly off the beaten track. In this case, I went to the Forge World site and looked up the new um, grav tanks that they have, which are incredibly handsome. And they're really large, too. Like One of those grav tanks is like time and a half one of these land raiders there. They're spectacular models. I think they retail for like 150 bucks each. And they're just totally worth it. But anyway, what I noticed on those is that the casings on those tanks were gold. And that's the typical color for Adeptus Custodes. And in fact, going into this project, you know, I could have just made these into two giant gold bricks. Uh, but instead, I took the red and black color scheme, which is a fade uh, of black to very deep red. And uh, then I did sort of this gold scripting on it. And these are just Wargamer standard level 3 uh, tanks. So um, I think they, all in all, they, they turned out pretty good. I Basically, I took black at the bottom, faded them all the way to a red at the top, and then down the other side. And they may look monotone, but... They definitely are not, if you uh, look at them. I've got uh, like a brick red, then a cavalry brown, which is a lighter sort of brownish red. And then they go all the way up to scarlet uh, on the very, very highlights. And same thing with the gold. It has uh, a wash and then a re-highlight and then finally polished gold on it to kind of get that bright gold look. So... Anyway, I'm very proud of how they turned out. I think they're really cool. If you ever have Land Raiders done with us, though, by the way, uh, specify whether you want them to open and close on the front in your assembly instructions, because typically we just do them buttoned up. And because uh, the fact is, no matter how you try, they don't quite entirely seal here. But there you go. They've got kind of a basic uh, work on there. All right, guys, well, that's it. Just thought I would show this to you, kind of give this as an example of, you know, how an artistic license project can turn out. Usually, I think it's better because the artist can really pick something that he or she likes to do, and, you know, some, some real thought can go into it, which I think is nice. All right, thanks for tuning in, and I hope you got your inspiration for the day.